Oh, we got Andrew on top of the pile. Big boy slinging that dirt, baby. Let's see if we can't climb up to the top here without falling. Man, I just crashed the drone so hard. All this material stuff that we're gonna be able to screen up at the beginning of next year. Holy shit. Is it completely dead? Because might as well give it a squirt of uh, cold start too, or else I'll have to go get the Duramax and plow it out. Ah, my truck might be able to make it. Yeah, my truck's lifted though. It's a monster truck. <laughs> Is there even power? Okay. Never. No, no. <laughs> Keep going. Like that battery cable, the po positive one is a little loose. <laughs> That's a fucking gold start. <laughs> yeah. I'll show you guys the booster we just used. It's minus 24 at this morning. Like this isn't, and it's been minus 30. Like look at this thing, it's sitting back here. Hasn't been started in months. This one here, NOCO Genius Boost HD. Where'd you get that? That thing's nuts. And that's, we had it connected. So it's two batteries, I had it here and here. Lights are all working, perfect. All right, dozer's loaded. We got her going. Uh, now we're gonna go drop it off and start ripping some paths through a field. All right, we are heading back to make, make some haul roads for this topsoil job. It's gonna be a big job, but I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be interesting. Lots of topsoil to come off it. We were estimated roughly a little over 3,000 cubic meters, so. With frost and everything, I'm pretty much predicting that there's gonna be around 350 load, could be 400 loads. I'm super excited. It's a type of job that whenever you go to it, you get butterflies in your stomach. And I know some guys can relate to that. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited to start this, so. So uh, this orange line here, basically the start 
and I'll show some drone footage right now of me talking. So we're coming around this bend and then what we're gonna do is go all the way back around. Okay, and here's the start of it, the line I just showed you guys. We're now gonna start stripping and uh, getting the land all cleared out. They just marked with the GPS the line and so we don't lose the line. I got Jesse clearing up to it. Well, this is how it's going now. We ended up getting the truck pretty nutted here. We, uh, he was loaded, he just dumped his load. But this one saw spot, so they made a big haul road in here, which is nice, because the ground hit frost here, and we dug this up yesterday, and uh, it kind of uh, was soft underneath, so we put four inch on top this morning, but hindsight, we should have dug down about three and a half, four feet, and then put gravel in, so now what we're gonna do is Jesse's plowing a new road in. Our new haul road's gonna come in through here and snake back, but yeah, she's stuck. Watch yourself, Cork. All right, well, we got the truck out. It's over there, nothing broke. That's awesome. And uh, we just created a new road access on frozen ground. Hindsight, should have done this from the very beginning, but you know what? Nothing broke. Half hour downtime, make it work. Gin Corps built this truck. Um, we're actually uh, down in Kingston right now. Um, came down with Antrim. Um, and what we're gonna be doing is this is our new 4900. I didn't tell anybody on YouTube or anything like that. I'm not gonna do a full walk around everything like that. I just wanna add this into context in the video where you'll see all the decals and everything will be done on it. Um, but it's not all clean and shined up right now. But if you're new to the channel, um, we have a 4700. This is a 4900. It's a one step up. So it's a little more done up. Breather lights, LEDs, way more lights, bigger motor. And yeah, we're gonna go tour it back to Ottawa, but I'm happy. Well, as you can see there, um, <laughs> kind of a shitty first drive in the truck. Uh, I got in it, noticed the engine lights were on, and uh, 
right beside the, the fuel. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's a little orange light that's flashing beside the DEF indicator, so I'm assuming we already have an issue with the DEF, and you know what? That's not an issue just with Bethard Star. That's an issue with all these trucks in the wintertime that take DEF fluid, and if you're in the cold climates, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, so I can't do above 90 kilometers an hour, or about 89 kilometers an hour, and uh, yeah, kind of lacking power on the bottom end even though this is a bigger motor kind of sucks for the first little drive in it but you know what oh well we're uh, cruising along here going through the town of Elgin Ontario and we'll be uh, back at Antrim in about an hour and a half all right we're behind the wheel wow it feels good it feels really good we're driving the new uh, 4900 right now and uh, we are driving it directly from the dealership. I literally just picked it up at the dealership, driving it to site right now to go get loaded with a ton of sloppy topsoil mud. I love that. That is exactly what I wanna do when I buy stuff. You need to buy stuff for your business that you actually need, and this totally proves the point. Going right from the dealership, getting loaded. Let's go get this thing dirty, it's too shiny. All right, here she is, getting loaded. Getting dirty. So one thing I did notice that is an issue is, I don't know if you guys can tell, but this left stack, yeah, you can see it. It's kind of crooked, so I gotta loosen off the clamp and then pull it down and fix that. But look at that girl. She is sexy looking. Just gonna get it deckled up and the windows tinted uh, next week. It'll be good to go. Okay, today is the day that you guys are watching the video right now. I came in on Saturday and got it filmed up. I know a lot of people have been asking about the videos and honestly, sometimes my days just go completely different than I planned. Yesterday, I planned on all morning being in the office, editing up this video, but yesterday went for a complete turn, but for the better, a little bit more of the inside. This is a beautiful truck and we're coming up with all new branding for the sides of them. So that will be something new that you guys will be able to see. I don't know if Johnny locked it. I don't know. So this side has a beautiful leather seat, heated. You can move everything around. That side actually, this is the first dump truck that I've ever been in that actually has a heated passenger seat and air seat. So that's pretty nice. Um, I don't really like the tower that Gincor does. Sorry, Gincor, if you hear that, but um, I just think it's ugly, twin. Um, they have a really shiny, nice plate and not like a sticker so it can shine it up. Anyways, I don't, not a big fan of this, but they did good work, so that's a positive. Super pumped for this year uh, to get everything going. So you guys can see, we are adding stuff to our fleet, which means we're adding men, we're adding women, we're adding people to the teams. Growing is something that I really am a big fan of. Every year, I kind of, you know, have a goal of where we'd like to be and where I'd like to see the business, and we're hitting those points. We still have a few more pieces of things to show up for this year, so I want to appreciate you guys for supporting along this whole time and watching the videos. I want you guys to let me know if you think I should be adding all this stuff. Um, I have the opportunity to sell you guys all the exact stuff that the guys are wearing and these hats and everything online. So comment down below if you would be interested in that and I will invest into the money to actually do that and set up a store uh, where you guys can buy this stuff because I think it's pretty cool. Other than that, it's Saturday. I gotta go home. I got a pregnant girlfriend sitting at home alone. So let's go do that. Every day I'm hustling, 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 hustling. But of course, I didn't forget about you guys, the true patriots of the channel. Watch the entire videos to the very end, which is right now. And if you are one of those true patriots, I want you guys to comment down below. Strip it. Why are you commenting down below? Strip it. Well, we're stripping a massive amount of soil at a really, really huge job for us. So if you guys can comment down below, strip it. I appreciate you guys. And we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.